at June 11th. So this Samsung machine, we bought it in uh, 2018. And uh, so it's about four years. And it has an error code for C. Uh, typically the error code uh, will attribute is attributed to dirty water and uh, so you have to clean the, uh, the the filter there's a filter here I'm just showing this as an example so there's there's a filter here that needs to be taken out and then cleaned so this will uh, <clears throat> This will be the uh, error code for 4C if the filter is uh, dirty. This time um, the failure mode is something else. And so I, I diagnosed the failure mode to be this solenoid. Uh, it's open circuit. So after four years, um, it looked like or it appears to have a maintenance plan of four years. So uh, it actually overheated open circuit. I measured the uh, resistance or impedance, resistance, coil resistance, uh, it's open circuit. These are uh, slightly over 4K. So these are good, I checked them. Um, so I checked uh, Lasada, so I ordered a, a replacement part from Lasada. So uh, uh, I'll do up another video uh, showing uh, or maybe uh, just replacing the uh, this set um, you can't buy the solenoid individually and replace you have to buy the whole set so this is the reason why so 4c error code is attributed to this solenoid open circuit or dirty filter so here so the first thing you do is uh, clean the filter Make sure there's water, of course. And if it's still showing 4C and there's no water ingress into the tank, then it's this solenoid right there, which uh, the whole set needs to be replaced. Uh, you can order it from Lasada. 21 June, the parts came today from Lasada. So uh, I am going to replace the uh, uh, damage uh, component from this washing machine. Prying this loose from the housing uh, took a little bit of uh, finagling, so uh, uh, you, you may end up damaging the, uh, the tabs. Uh, but as long as you don't damage the electronics, uh, since you're self-repairing this thing, then uh, oh well, you just take the risk. The main thing is, this part is replaced, the tab may be damaged, those are the risks uh, when you're doing this kind of uh, uh, repair yourself, uh, just the way it is, so you just uh, pay yourself, it's free of charge instead of paying somebody, so see if the outcome is these are damaged. Well, live with it. So remove these three screws. One here, one here, one there. So this allows movement of this uh, of the soap uh, con uh, soap dispensing area here. Allows you to uh, jiggle this out. Uh, if you don't, you'll just break it. So this is the uh, damaged part that I'm about to replace. The, uh, the factory installed uh, solenoid, there's another filter here, uh, really you want to take that filter and transpose it into this, uh, it, it, does not come one, it does not come with one, so really the, the water here is so dirty, so it's, it's best to uh, get this filter uh, and transpose it into this one. So this is the piece I'm talking about. So you can use this tool to uh, poke it out of there and then uh, simply, simply take this and install it into this. 
here I'm measuring the resistance of the new coil uh, and it's uh, 4.1k so if I transpose it to this one it's uh, open circuit or open loop and uh, if I measure this one and it's measuring 4.3k so so these two are good actually I need to measure these before I install them so it's fine okay so I think uh, in the future if this ever go bad I can actually take these and replace that um, but four years if it, if it goes bad in four years time then that washing machine would have had uh, eight years life so um, by eight years uh, maybe it's time for a new washing machine you know, I'll, inst I'll install this new part okay it's all put together um, before I install the, the panel I am going to briefly test the, uh, the machine uh, that way I don't have to take it apart again it's uh, really done I really don't want to double work the, uh, the job so let's see if it, it actually works this machine is plugged power Okay. Full load. Let's see if it starts. Oh, okay. Hold on. I'm gonna turn the water on. Well, success. Uh, there's water ingress into the uh, into the bowl. So uh, uh, this uh, concludes the repairing of some washing machine with error code 4C or 4 Charlie so uh, that's what you need to do uh, quite frankly a local technician uh, would have had a uh, great difficulty uh, fixing this this type of machine here uh, in Rojas so I hope that uh, from my experience you would be able to uh, have the machine repaired based on what I just showed. So I did a tear down of this uh, failure mode. So basically, I had to destroy this thing. And so there's a crack here, most likely overheated and it created an open circuit in the coil. Uh, this is quite interesting. Um, the the solenoid shaft is actually encapsulated. Neat, neat technology they put in. Uh, it's almost like, uh, well, it's really neat. So I can't really reuse these. Um, everything is sonic weld. No way to uh, repurpose uh, any of these. So you actually need to buy a new one. I was hoping that I could repurpose this if ever the other one is uh, failed. Oh well, uh, this whole piece is uh, shipped to me is 600 pesos. So, uh, probably if we were to get serviced by somebody, it probably will going to cost, I don't know, to over 2000 pesos or something. Maybe less than five. 